And so I say, oh, that, that's interesting. I don't have time to stop and read this now, but you know, I want to uh, remember to do it and, and read this story in the past. So here I have a physical magazine, but I really want to interact with it in a, in a cyberspace way later on. So I take the cell phone, I check into my hotel, uh, and when I get to the hotel in the future, I might see a desk that has a service computer in it, and in fact, a display capability and other service uh, embedded in the walls would expect that this will become more and more commonplace. Uh, so when I get there, I can uh, put my phone down uh, on, this, uh, on this desk, and uh, it's, it gives me a biometric identity opportunity, so I put my hand down. Uh, that gives me access. It basically links the, the computers together now so that I can uh, use them as a, as a composite system. So here's the picture I, I took at the airport. Uh, I can drag it out. I can essentially uh, make it bigger and say, okay, I'm interested in this. So I'll say, okay, analyze this image. Uh, in this case, to, to determine a way to use the, 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 the picture of the magazine as a way to get into this cyberspace environment. So it analyzes, it does the image recognition. So much as we saw the robot receptionist analyzing the, the environment of people, this is a analyzing this object. By doing that, it gives me the ability to use this as a navigational metaphor. And I said it was the article on the, the Eskimo art that I was interested in. And so it gives me the story. So I didn't actually have to read the physical magazine. I could decide to read the same equivalent online. So here it talks about the store in downtown Seattle, the Pioneer Square that, that I can uh, look at this at. And I'll say, OK, I want to go to the store. And so I'll say, go here. And uh, so it, it presents me a, a image, which is that now this photosynth composite of a set of pictures of the actual space in downtown Seattle, and a 3D model that's been built behind it. In fact, if I look at this alternate presentation mode, you can actually see here uh, a number of the images that you know, were used to, to develop these models and then to composite those uh, onto the 3D model. And so if I go back in this environment, I can say, okay, what I really want to do is I want to go into that store. And, uh, and, and so I just sort of walk into the model. And, uh, and so the model is, is actually a very realistic, photorealistic and geometrically realistic model of that actual space downtown. So I can do this in the, in, in the, for the, the public space. But when I get there, then this, this business can have its own interior presence in this uh, spatial web kind of environment. So I can touch this and go into the store. Uh, the storekeeper can interact with me with either text messaging or, or uh, two-way speech. I can essentially wander around in the store, uh, perhaps go back here and look at this piece of Eskimo art. Uh, I can uh, go there and ask about the artist, see the price, uh, tell me more about the artist and his workshop. Could be offered an opportunity to watch a video, uh, which I could like to watch or not watch. Coming up with an idea of the glass being sort of less. Uh, when I learn what I want to learn, I can go back and wander around. Here's a notice that my wife Marie has actually joined me in this virtual space, so that the presence uh, of, e of each other and your buddy list essentially can be extended into this environment. And so she decided to come, uh, uh, you know, she's at home and, and also look through the same store. And so as I can continue to walk around, you know, she can essentially bookmark things that, that she might think is interesting. So I can look at this uh, virtual bookmark and uh, she wants to know, you know, okay, how about this to go in my office at home? And so I say, okay, well, let me, let me look at this thing. So I can essentially uh, take this device pick it up, look at it, spin it around, you know, uh, as a 3D model. This could have been developed by photosynthing it by the, the storekeeper. Uh, or perhaps the artist, when they actually produce the object, might give you a 3D a representation of it for this type of examination. Uh, and uh, when I'm done, I can, I can put it back. Yeah. What do you think? I can meet you tomorrow at the gallery. Maybe you can find a restaurant nearby for a Okay, uh, I'll see what I can find and make a reservation. So, you know, we, we will integrate this type of real-time uh, telepresence, if 
together in order to, to create this experience. And so I'll go back to my desktop and ask them to show me restaurants in the area. And I'm back outside in the 3D model of the, the streets around Pioneer Square. You know, I can look at a mashup of information about the various restaurants. I can make a, 